Simply Food material demand can be used by both the purchase and production teams for planning. Let's take a look. The values on the material demand preferences screen directly impact the data that is shown on the material demand inquiry, allowing you to set the number of days into the future for each of the sales, production, or purchase order values individually. The sales value can include both actual sales and forecast orders, as well as options for warehouse replenishment or orders on hold. There's an optional setting to either summarize demand for all warehouses or allow you to see demand driven by each warehouse. This inquiry will calculate the quantities of components, subassemblies, and finished goods to identify what is needed to be made or purchased. The inquiry has also been designed to explode the components of each recipe from the sales demand after taking into account quantity on hand to create the needed demand. Let's review the finished good for mild salsa. This shows a combined demand for the mild 16 ounce salsa of 4,120 cases. This demand results from a combination of open sales orders, transfer replenishment order, and a forecast order all within the number of days set in the material demand preferences. The main material demand inquiry reflects that we have 3,847 cases on hand. When deducted from the open order quantity of 4,120 cases, provides the remaining sales order demand of 273 cases. When opening the production orders and progress side panel, it will list all of the production orders that reflect activity against this product within the days set. In this case, this shows that we have a total of 2,850 cases in various stages with the scheduled dates that will provide the supply to cover our demand, which results in a final make quantity of zero. This side panel shows us the components of the mild salsa case. The items showing in yellow indicate that they are a subassembly versus a direct component of the recipe. If we go back and review our original demand of salsa needed, we should expect that the material demand should also determine the need for the preservative bag. However, since we have most of the salsa in stock, we only need the preservative bag to satisfy the 273 cases of salsa that were short. The recipe calls for 0.0167 preservative bags per salsa case, which results in a demand of 4.56 bags. Let's confirm. If we review our make filter, we will find that we do in fact need to make the preservative bags. Note that the open order quantity is showing the expected 4.56 bags. We have 18 bags on hand, therefore there is no sales demand. However, we see that there is a production demand. Reviewing the production orders in progress side panel, you will see activity for this item. There are existing production orders for both mild cases and hot salsa batch that is demanding this item totaling 48.86 bags. We only show 25 bags scheduled to be made, which does not cover the final demand minus on hand quantity. Therefore, we need to make more. Opening the buy filter will reflect either components that need to be purchased or finished goods that are sold but not produced. In review of the yellow cheddar, we can see that we have an open order quantity of 937.50 pounds, less the quantity on hand of 425 pounds, 
shows a sales demand of 512.50 pounds. Although our production orders will show various production orders scheduled that will consume 1,562.50 pounds of yellow cheddar. The production demand reflects a higher quantity than the sales demand, resulting in a final demand equal to the production demand. This evaluation assures that we do not duplicate our demand as the production demand will satisfy our sales demand. The open purchase order of 20 cases will result in 1,000 pounds, which will still leave us short 137.50 pounds. In addition to the material demand, there is a finished good weekly demand report, which will show the demand, production, and shortage of the finished goods on a week-by-week -week basis for the next four weeks. Another view of demand is through the daily supply and demand report, which shows the demand, production supply, and shortages in red of both the finished goods and subassemblies on daily view for the next 14 days.